In this lesson, we're going to review Azure Traffic Manager, what it is, its strengths and weaknesses, and when it's best used. Azure Traffic Manager is a DNS-based routing system. Basically, you create a traffic manager profile, such as myendpoint.trafficmanager.net, and then assign service endpoints that will be addressable through that traffic manager. For example, you may have a web app that needs to be available 24-7. To accomplish that task, you would deploy that web app to East US, North Europe, and Japan East. Then, you would create a traffic manager profile and assign all three web apps as origin endpoints for that traffic manager. Traffic manager works for standard tier or higher web apps, classic or Azure service management cloud services, any Azure service that has a public IP address, and any external resource that is internet facing. Note that this includes public blobs, tables, and Azure SQL databases if you configure the database firewall to allow connections from the requesting IP address. Traffic Manager is basically a dynamic DNS system that is constantly and automatically updated by Azure based on the routing scheme you've chosen and the status of the health probes Azure performs automatically on your services. More on that in a moment. Traffic Manager itself will not update its own DNS records faster than every 30 seconds, and most clients' DNS servers won't update their caches faster than every 5 minutes, so latency is a factor and will return to that momentarily. There are three means of routing traffic in Traffic Manager. Performance routing will send a request to whichever endpoint performs fastest for the client. For example, if I have a traffic manager with web app endpoints in East US, North Europe, and Japan East, and the client is in Korea, that client will get the Japan East version of my web app when she visits the traffic manager profile URL. If a client is in Mexico, he will get the East US version of the web app. And if she is in France, she will get the North Europe web app. Priority routing sends all traffic to a single endpoint. If that primary endpoint should fail, Traffic Manager will send requests to the secondary endpoint. If I provide a tertiary endpoint and both the primary and secondary endpoints go offline, then Traffic Manager will route to that tertiary until either the primary or secondary come back online. Weighted routing allows me to specify a ratio of which endpoints should see the most traffic. If I weight all the endpoints evenly, then this will be truly round robin. Each endpoint should handle roughly the same number of requests. Or I can specify that a specific endpoint see twice as much traffic as a second endpoint, and so on. Watch the Traffic Manager demo in this section for more information. Traffic Manager has a number of benefits. Primary among them is that it's automatic. For example, if you create a priority Traffic Manager profile, and the primary endpoint goes down, Traffic Manager will correctly route your traffic to the secondary endpoint without you having to do anything. Traffic Manager is very easy to configure. Once you have a strategy in hand, just add your endpoints, select your routing method, and apply your weights or priorities if relevant. Also, we can nest multiple Traffic Manager profiles. For example, Maybe I have a mission-critical need to serve read-only, geo-redundant blobs across the globe. I have two blob storage locations, one in East US and the other in Australia East. I could create two priority traffic manager profiles, one each for East US and Australia East. These profiles would ensure I could fetch a blob either from its primary region or its read-only, geo-redundant region. Then, I can combine those two priority traffic manager profiles under a single performance traffic manager profile. That would give me a single URL from which to fetch my blobs. So, a call to myblob.trafficmanager.net would not only retrieve the blob from the best performing blob storage account for me, it would also ensure I can get the blob in the event of a regional outage. Pretty neat, right? Traffic Manager allows me to also span networks and points of presence. So, for example, suppose I have a hybrid service that is on-premises and in Azure. 
I want Azure to handle most of the requests, but I also want to keep my on-prem version warm by handling, say, 10% of requests. I can use a weighted traffic manager profile to send most requests to Azure, but that 10% to on-prem. Note that I actually don't need to use any Azure services for Traffic Manager. I can create a Traffic Manager profile that has nothing but third-party endpoints. Note that I don't actually need to use any Azure services for Traffic Manager. I can create Traffic Manager profile that has nothing but third-party endpoints. So I could use Traffic Manager to load balance my non-Azure web server farms, for instance, or route satellite offices to the proper web farm endpoint for their geographic locations. Another great use for Traffic Manager is to avoid extended downtime for routine maintenance if you must take down live endpoints for that maintenance. For example, suppose I have an FTP service that needs to accept files at all times of the day. If I can spin up a backup FTP service, a priority traffic manager would allow me to turn off the primary FTP service while I repair it. The backup FTP service would provide business continuity. Finally, Traffic Manager's performance routing is specifically useful for ensuring global performance. If I have a need to distribute a public internet resource globally, I can ensure through Traffic Manager that my client will get the instance that best performs for her. I can also use this as a rough and ready means of geo-targeting. I can make a US version and a European version of my web app and use performance routing to direct users to the correct version for their geolocations. Note, however, that performance doesn't guarantee routing by region, it just generally turns out to work by region. If you need to serve content to a specific client based on geolocation, an Azure Premium CDN is the right way to do that. More on that in the lesson in CDNs. Traffic Manager does have drawbacks. Most notable is that it is not instantaneous. At minimum, Azure will not update its DNS records for 30 seconds. Even if you use that faster refresh, that doesn't mean downstream DNS servers will refresh that fast. Most DNS services use a 5-minute time to live. Some take much longer. So while Azure may be updating its DNS records quickly, that doesn't mean every client's DNS cache is being refreshed that fast. You can only use Traffic Manager for public IP addresses and internet-facing endpoints, so you can't, for example, link up an on-premises solution if it isn't open to the world. To conduct its health probes, Traffic Manager needs each endpoint to respond to an HTTP or HTTPS GET request with a 200 status code. Any non-response or non-200 response takes the endpoint offline and therefore affects how Traffic Manager routes requests. Also, you must use the same protocol, HTTP or HTTPS, for all endpoints in a profile. In other words, if you have one endpoint that only accepts HTTP requests, and a second endpoint that only accepts HTTPS requests, they can't be in the same Traffic Manager profile. Finally, if you're using web apps as your Traffic Manager endpoints, they need to be standard tier or higher. So, what are some examples of good places to use a Traffic Manager profile? If you have a web app that is in heavy demand, especially globally, it makes sense to use a performance Traffic Manager to split requests across multiple web apps in different regions. If you have any other kind of globally distributed application or service, Traffic Manager in performance routing mode will help your customers get faster responses. You can use Traffic Manager in priority routing to fail over to a backup service for those circumstances when you must take a service offline to repair or upgrade it. And you can use priority routing to ensure uptime for non-Azure services, provided those external services have at least two instances. Finally, you can use Traffic Manager to merge on-premises or third-party services with Azure services. Of course, you'd want to make sure that they are identical and in sync for data purposes, but that's outside the scope of Traffic Manager itself. Also, it's worth noting that inherent to every Traffic Manager profile with two or more endpoints is failover. That's it for this lesson. When you're ready, let's wrap up 
and look at the traffic manager demo.